Some citizens of a suspicious man seen in the area, dressed in a woody and a blue shirt. District Constable Foresight summoned the police, the St. Thomas Division of Operation Support Unit for assistance, and he approached the man who we saw. Uh, the man responded by putting um, firing gunshots on the district constable. He received three gunshots to the head, the neck, and the chest, and he fell. The operation support unit who was close by came to his assistance and rushed him to the Princess Margaret Hospital, where he was pronounced dead at about 4.30 p.m. District Constable Foresight lives in close proximity to the area where the incident took place. Police are still in the area. We are in the area. We are combing this location, trying to find the suspect or suspects who are involved in the shooting death of District Constable Foresight. back to my view tv the people's platform the home of undiluted news reviews updates and your daily dose of entertainment don't forget to hit the notification bell leave us a comment like share and subscribe i don't bring nobody forward in your future for me everything where you see up my natural talent let me tell you something you see when you know what to please the audience wait it simple me Life will break things down on the outside to develop your strength on the inside. Learning to love yourself during the change will help you to thrive. Whether what you want to stay or walk away, trust that you can let it go. Remember, what is yours can never leave you. Your self-compassion and realizing the mindset holding you back from finding more. Only you can discover what you deserve. Knowing your true worth make you unstoppable. I'm talking to you, 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 and surely you. Why go on, my people? Hope everybody is okay. Hope everybody is all right. Yet another Tuesday morning, I'm going to tell somebody something. I find myself alive. Yes, yes, yes. Find myself alive. That's why I always come and tell you this. Every day above ground is a blessing. How awesome it is to be amongst the living. And surely, surely, not amongst the dead. People, one only person thing I go on that news. The mayhem continues. Yes, I miss upset this morning because every single day I come and I tell the police them say, slap them way and then ask questions later. Look how the police just got that shame life, eh, man. Look how the police just got that shame life. Come like him now, listen to this platform here. Yeah. I understand the operation. The boy them now, he's up on no. And people, I can tell you something when I come on the news right now. You understand? Can the people them afraid for come out come talk? A piece of water about for start right out of Bull Bay. Shrimpy them send message to such man. You understand? I say, watch you now. You know, say we got crimes dead. We are going to run off the whole block. But Shrimpy them don't know, say, hands test them away up. I know now wonder who me attack. Just keep back and relax. I don't know can boy me attack. I know who know who you know. But see, because me know all the way I go on. I go feeling in pan that day one day. And yes, whole heap of shop are broke. Whole heap of car are broke. You know? One whole heap of sin things still are going out there. But people, who know how they even know what are going on. What are going on. But people, who know the operation go on this platform here. Yeah. Once me know, who not got the information. So no matter what you're yourself. Anyways, watch me guys start the news now. A 27-year-old man was killed in Liberty Valley, Brownstown, St. Anne on Saturday. He has been identified as Nicolia Campbell of the same address. Report reaching our news team that at about 9 p.m., Campbell and two other men were standing on the roadway. We don't know why them never entered them yard. When a man approached and opened fire at them, Campbell was it. Yes, people. I went and told the people in the community and said, Yo, look like a man them set it up. I don't know. I mean, can't confirm it, but I'm just telling the people them I say, The shooter escaped. The wounded man was pronounced dead right past spot because member, member, good. The people them, they out there and them see the same bed, so they tell me. Anyway, Manchester, I'm gone. If you look on the screen here, we see one boy. He's no longer with us. We can't tell exactly what I'm to him now. A man who was listed as a suspect and person of interest in several murders, shootings, and robbery committed in Manchester and St. Elizabeth was killed by a gunman in Old England, Manchester, Monday morning. Yes, yes, yes. And guess what, people? 
Ya, the picture with the men back click out. You understand? So, they can come, come look on it. Police identified the deceased as Aldo Scott. Long run, short catch Aldo. Me nobody tell us that I'm going to slap you away. See there? A notorious figure in South Central Jamaica who managed to elude the police on multiple occasions. But they couldn't get it from gunman. Gunman, they do them work. You understand? So, listen up now, people. This is the information that the police them give me. He is one of our persons of interest for a whole heap of robberies, murders, and we would have launched several operations in search of him. I want them to and carry me but him never want to go in alive him they want to go in dead you understand so get exactly what he deserve we wanted him for questioning said the police anyway but i continue the source said at about 1 30 a.m residents of old england heard loud explosion and called the police the source said the police team arrived at the scene and identified the shooting victim as scott long run shot get scott then finally fix the business he was found lying on his back with gunshot wood right in him big head and people I tell him already you have the picture can okay, show no? so circle ends and come come look on it you understand well, London now, people, right in a sentence, my gun. My gun, my brethren, do it. Because do it, at my view. You need to tell the people them this. The police are not treating the death of the mother and child in Cardiff Hill, St. Anne, on Sunday as a murder suicide. Me say, what you really say? Me say, well, London, do it. Because I don't want the people them feel like I make me make up my story. You need to tell them yourself. We are presently treating this matter as a fire and a death investigation. We are awaiting the results of the forensic examination in this matter and further probe which will be carried out. There was a house fire at Cardiff Hall, Runaway Bay Centre, where two persons perished. The deceased are Shelley Ann Hamilton, 26 years old, and her daughter Gabrielle Lambert, 6 years old. We understand that in the latter part of January this year, Miss Hamilton rented the apartment. She left to the carpet area and returned this morning. Shortly after her arrival, smoke and fire were subsequently seen coming from her apartment. But no, I'm not supposed to keep back on that one. My view, I also the smoke and I also the fire. Well, I'm a bit there now. This is one I want to know if you listen. When I was coming down now, and when I reached down the gate, I saw a lot of cars up the street here. And I said, Jesus, it looks as if something happened at the house where I'm living. The woman, her son-in-law, was at home when he observed smoke coming from Hamilton's room. She says the woman moved in the apartment approximately eight days ago, but requested the help of her son-in-law with a suitcase after visiting her mother in Linstater. She asked him to... Um, bring up the suitcase up the stairs for her and by the time he reached up the stairs and the door was already locked and he knocked the door and said it's me Steve I bring up your suitcase he said you can't come in the room now you can't come in the room and please put the suitcase out on the out on the doorway for me he was going to make some dinner for me till I come from church and he said by the time he took up the knife and take up the pan with the chicken, somebody from number five, from this one here, called him and said, number four is in smoke. Yeah. Parents said they had already know that she's not well in the head. Mm -hmm. uh, because the, the pastor told me yesterday that, that they did told the mother that she came back from America where she was living and she's acting strange. Boy, people, me, I know I think the same way. Something do right. You understand? But as soon as me get more information, me I go give it to no. Hold on a bit then now. Once big up for run, you know me already. Me I go run the big up. Big up my friend Paula. Yes, people. Paula to the rescue. You understand? If criminal they feel like say, they may go take their money and get the best set of cases in them because they want to beat case. Hold on a bit then, man. Parlor there, right round the corner, I challenge everything. You want to go on, you want to go on now. Director of Public Prosecution Paul Lewin say her office will appeal a four year sentence given to a man who plead guilty to illegal possession of firearm. People, the boss on the man did talk about this, you know. And I say, wait, come in like a trick, can you a trick with? You know, she say a phone, she's them, they do. 28 year old Dennis Mundell was indicted under the wrong section of the new gun law that carries harsher penalty. They feel like, say, Paula, they're going to make this second one a sweep under the rug. But four years, no, 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 no. 
Well, up and take your 15. But people, as me say, I'll have them money so them can get the best set of KC. Money have to offer. You're this one you know. A mistake. We are not infallible. Uh, the point is that this doesn't happen very often at all in terms of the dispensation of justice. Uh, in so far as the appeal of this matter is concerned and the posture of the DPP now, it is going to be very interesting to see how the Court of Appeal will treat this, given the fact that the normally one would appeal based on an error that is made by a judge. Uh, in this situation, it is somewhat different. But nevertheless, it's an error in law, and that does not take away the jurisdiction of the Court of Appeal to pronounce on it. And with all legislation that is new and complex, sometimes these things will arise. And I think what is needed is a comprehensive uh, exposure to the legislation for the public to understand the consequences of the new legislation. We need to get to that stage where it is clearly understood.